Chris Sheffrey and welcome back for episode 23 of the SAS Factory series here on YouTube. In this video, we're ready for part 2, finishing off our new motor factory. It's our second attempt at cosmetics and setting up a truck line. Make sure you stick around to the very end for a bonus. Thank you all for the support and help with the series so far. Let's get to playing games. Alright, episode 23, cosmetics attempt number 2. Um, hopefully it goes so a little bit better than last time. So, welcome back. I appreciate everybody being here. Today, it is all about... Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our truck station here over at the base. And set up a little temporary storage to drop off for those motors. So that we don't have to worry about bringing them back and forth. And then we are going to jump right into a second attempt of some cosmetics and factory building. Where we are going to actually build the factory portion of the um of the motor factory um that was the worst english i think i've ever come up with but anyway let's uh let's jump into it over here shall we i did get the jetpack in between episodes just so that i can hover around a little bit faster and i did add a few more little decorations here along the side of the garage just almost like a storage area i thought it looked pretty cool i was just trying to find a way to to fill up some of the space things were feeling a little bit empty so we're gonna head on over here to where eventually the storage facility is going to be and this is where I'm going to set up a drop-off portion as you can see I kind of laid out the roads for it already kind of gave myself some markings um, and I did actually finally add a connector from the main highway up above there and actually I'll show you here in a little bit um, it actually will be an easier way that we can bring the plastic down because um, I'm going to start routing things over here to the main base now. I'm going to start bringing the plastic over, the fuel over, the motors over. So I don't have to do quite as much walking around anymore. So I, my, my voice still may sound a little uh, a little funny. I feel like I'm still fighting a little bit of a sickness. But I'll be back, back to normal here soon enough, hopefully. Um, okay, so we're going to set up our truck station here. Which I'm going to kind of arbitrarily place for now. Um... I'm going to place it right about... I'm going to get out of the way here. Right over top of the arrow. Why not? So, from off the back of our truck station, we're going to have to add in some storage boxes. Let's see how many of those I'll be able to place. Quite a few. Okay. So, I'm going to want to be able to hold quite a few motors for all my, all my constructing needs. So if the output is going to be right there, we're going to go ahead and just kind of make a few stacks right here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. How many can I fit in here? Six. Perfect. And then we're going to throw those up on top. I feel like that should be, like, if that fills up, I'm still going to put an overflow on, but if that fills up with motors, then I'm, that's that's more than enough. So, um, let's get these connected up with splitters, and then, uh, actually, I suppose there's, if I want, if I, if I had to reverse them all, I could have, like, connected, connected them together that way, but, so we're going to go put... Bear lift mark ones on the back here. We'll do that all along here. Eventually, I do want to set up like an actual full-on storage facility, but that'll be, be a future project. Looks like I lined up it perfectly with right here. So I'm going to put my splitter, my first splitter right here. And then we'll start putting them down in a line here. Like that. Um, I believe... I'll just do Mark IV conveyor belts just so it gets... Just so it's a nice speedy process. Get them in and out of the way. Alright, I guess that splitter is actually supposed to be a smart splitter. Actually, wait. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put a smart splitter in there. I got it. 
We got this. I know this is completely excessive, but... I have lots of encased industrial beams, so I'm going to make use of them. Plus, it'll just it'll empty this out really fast. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter because this, this will split up and then it won't matter anymore. But um, OK, so we're going to put a smart splitter in here. Right there. And then we're going to grab our awesome sink. Put it right there. So we'll set this to be left is overflow. Center output is motors. Where are you? I'm assuming this is, uh, yeah. I was going to say, I'm assuming it's alphabetical. There we go. So that'll be our massive motor storage. And I think, I think I can just, because we're only producing 15 per minute, I think I can just use a tractor. Which should be fine, right? Because we have to, we'll have to run them over to get fuel. Um, for now. I mean, I'll reroute them eventually once I actually bring over the rest of the truck stations. Because um, there's no fuel source right here, obviously, at the moment. Um, and I, I'm thinking... Thinking of maybe setting it right... Right there. Um, in the in the turn. Maybe. Um... I may I may choose differently because this is all just going to be like a one way. This is a one way, so you can't come this way anyway. So I was, I was thinking maybe putting the fuel there, or maybe putting the fuel there because you really just have to pull through to to pick up the fuel. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. I I also added like um a sort of like they're like garage doors, and then I added like signs like this one is closed and these ones are open. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to play around with cosmetics and, and see the things I can kind of figure out that look good. Um, I really appreciate all your guys' tips from the last video and not on every video. I mean, please keep them coming this whole time because I definitely will be making use of them as best I can. Uh, if I forget to shout you guys out for, for, for giving me the cool idea, I apologize, but just know I really appreciate you. So now we're going to need to build a tractor and I'll just throw fuel in it for now because I have a bunch in my uh, thing so this is gonna be for motors I'm gonna try and like I'm just gonna color it like gray it's the motor truck um, so I think I actually need to start this down by the uh, the motor factory first and then, so we'll drive it to the motor factory, we'll drive from the motor factory, we'll drop off the motors, we'll loop back out, um, and I should be able to go along that highway there, and it'll take me over to the fuel depot, I think. I'll have to check. But, uh, yeah, let's head on over to the motor factory, um, where I also, I didn't realize, I was, this is actually the second time I've had to record this now because I didn't realize I wasn't recording the first time and I did a couple things to the motor like to set up the I set up the truck station at the motor factory only to realize I was not recording so we are going to head on over there um and I'll show you guys what we did uh or I'll show you guys what I did while I wasn't recording um and just just kind of cover if you wanted to follow along or not Okay, so here I am at the motor factory. Um, as you can see, I did put in uh, a little bit of a road section that kind of goes and leads up to it. And there's a the little bit of a U-turn. I figured I didn't need to give it a ton of, I wanted to, I was gonna put it here. And then I was like, well, then I can't really walk through here. I'd have to build like a whole thing under or over. So instead of doing that, I, I'll show you kind of how I am moving the motors into the truck station here. Um, they actually are running through this little pathway underneath the ground um, and it goes all the way 
down along here and I'm just bringing the motors from this little buffer storage which is currently filling up because the truck station is all backed up and I need to empty it. Oops. Oopsie. Where's that wall? I'll put that back in there. So from here, this is where I'm going to put the truck back down or the tractor, I mean. But I'm going to put it right here, right before the pickup. The gray motor tractor. Um, I do have a bunch of motors that, do, that I ended up filling up in here, but for anyone uh, who may have missed it last time, this is the motor factory. If you missed it and you want to build along, or if you just want to see it get built, go ahead and check out the last episode. I'll try and remember to put the little thing up in the top corner. Um, but let's record ourselves a truck line just so we can start getting this uh, this truck station emptied out. So we're going to throw in a full amount of fuel here. We're going to open up our record menu and start recording. I'm going to load stuff into here. Take as much stuff as I can. Wait for the loading bar to finish. I don't know how full it's ever going to be when we're over here, but I think this will be the I'm, I'm, the one thing I did notice is my roads are a little bit more tractor friendly than they are truck friendly or really any of the other smaller vehicles. The trucks just take up so much room. Oh, hello there. It's another guy just stuck in my road. So yeah, I did start building all the way along here. Um, that doesn't go anywhere yet. That was just a kind of an offshoot that I was doing. Um, so we're going to be bringing this, these motors up through here. Um, that takes you back over to the main base. And this takes you over. Well, I guess this is the main base now, but that takes you over to our starter base area. So we're just going to kind of come down here. Don't pay attention to that, that pipe that goes along there. I'm going to take that out. I thought that was going to be a good idea, but it was not. Oh my god. That's okay. We're going to be redoing this line anyway at some point. Tractors uh, handle very differently than trucks do. I'll tell you that right now. Now that should be unloaded. So we'll continue recording this path. Yeah, this is one way until you get to here. I mean, this is still technically one way. I just didn't want to do it because... Would, oh, <laughs> well, I'm, let's just say I'll be glad to re-record this at some point. It's got good speed, though, so that's good. Okay, so now I want to loop over to the fuel depot. Get fueled up. And then loop back around again back to the motor factory. So here's where I want to turn right. This is where there was a bit of a poor, some poor planning on the roads on my part. Just going to kind of cut the corners for now. Like I said, I'm going to be re-recording this at some point, so this doesn't have to be perfect. You can also kind of manually adjust them too. Like you can sort of, you can, I believe you can, you can definitely delete the nodes. Um, I don't know if you can, can you move? I think you can move the nodes if you need to. So if I remember correctly, we're going to go here and we're going to take a left and drive right into the wall. Excellent. <laughs> now we're going to go. <laughs> This way. Ten, ten out of ten driving skills. But yeah, thank you guys again for all the support on the channel. I'm probably going to say that way, way too many times, but uh, I don't think I can ever... I feel like I can never say it enough. So you guys keep coming back. All your awesome comments, all your tips. 
everybody leaving likes, all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, so I'm going to do a reverse loop on this one. Hopefully you just never get in the way. We're going to fuel up. And we're going to drive back. In this beautiful sunset. Oh god, that may have been a mistake. I was driving, the one time I was, uh, I was driving through here. And I wasn't paying attention. And all of a sudden, one of my trucks was in the sky. And it just kind of started floating back towards, like, along its path. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what was happening. Hopefully I can get it on camera at some point. I thought it was really funny. Yeah, the truck just was, was flying through the sky. Okay, so we're going to take a left turn here. Or, sorry, a, a, a right turn. Well, left turn at that corner, but that's all you can really do. We're going to take a right turn right here going straight if we were to turn there it would take us over to the steel plant but this gives me hope for uh using using the tractors to move some of these basic items back to our base once we actually get more of a storage set up I'm thinking maybe a couple episodes from now we'll we'll dive into a, a bit of a storage facility. I'm also thinking I'd like to unlock uh, compact coal and and turbo fuel at some point, um, and then also the packaged liquid biofuel. Um, I've had some some really nice people. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, um, definitely more than welcome to, uh, to hop on in there. There's been a few people that have been nice enough to show me around their worlds and help give me some inspiration and some some tips on on building and on laying things out. Um, so if you ever wanna if you ever wanna you know have me take a little tour around your world or you can send me your save file too if you just want to do that. Um, hop on into our Discord. the The link should be somewhere somewhere on my on my YouTube page. All right, we are coming up here to the finish line. Enable autopilot. I will get out. And now this thing will get loaded up with... So the current outgoing transfer is 191 items, per, but I don't think that's how it's actually going to be going forward. We'll see, like, once the truck line kind of... oh. Well, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, the autosave. I was like, what happened? The game crashed. So that is the truck station set up. First thing off our to-do list. That was really our only like main thing we needed to worry about. And then after that, it's, uh, it's all about the aesthetics, baby. Um, so if you remember last time I did go ahead and grab, I said I wanted to grab the, uh, the connect, the wall power connectors. Um, so I did go ahead and grab those. I'm going to have to grab some quick wire for that though. Um, and then we'll kind of figure out how we're going to make this, this base look all pretty. Um, obviously it's, it's pretty heavy in the concrete so far. So I'm thinking maybe we add in a bunch of glass. Uh, we'll try and add in the steel walls. And then I'm also going to change, I believe, the flooring in the actual factory rooms themselves. Um, I'm thinking either asphalt or what was the other one is it called? The grip metal foundation. I think this also looks kind of cool. The, the reason I like the asphalt, though, is because it doesn't really have like connect like it just kind of looks like a nice smooth floor. I think I'm going to go with asphalt. And then you can put like some markings down. We'll put in some walkways. I'm going to put in some glass walls. Um, between like in the hallways. So you can see into the rooms. And then I also grabbed the... What's it called? The glass frame foundation. Now if you're like me. 
and you had no idea where the glass frame foundation came from. Um, you actually have to buy the, what is it, the frame foundation pack in the shot. It costs like 10 tickets to buy. Let me see if I got, I don't remember if I'm uh, remembering the, the name of it correctly, but um, yeah, it's, it's not under like foundations or anything like you'd think it would be. Um, it's in, it's under uh, for the for frames. I think it was, I think it was called. So anyway, we have those now and it's a little weird that I feel like they may change this going forward. That glass frame foundations only take steel and concrete. I don't know why they wouldn't take like silica or anything like everything else does, but um, either way, now we know for now. Well, I know for sure, and I'm sure now most of you are aware, but if you didn't know, that's where you can find the glass frame foundations. We're going to use those for like uh, skylights and stuff in the roof. This guy just keeps reappearing in my in my factory, so I think he's just gonna live here now. I have a feeling he's just gonna keep respawning in here even if I even if I killed him. So let's go grab a few building materials that we're gonna need. What do I have on me right now? Um yeah, we can clear out like the motors, rotors, um, uh, modular frames, that type of stuff. I don't think I need any of that for building. The main things we're gonna need for building concrete, obviously, steel iron plates uh silica for like the glass walls um quartz for signs um quick wire for wall outlets so i can actually move the power around and then i think that's i think that's that should cover most of it yeah mostly iron plates concrete steel if we're going to use like the, some of the glass stuff, um, actually a lot of, a lot of the architecture stuff is either steel or concrete. So let's go grab a bunch more steel, concrete, some quick wire. I'll drop off a bunch of this stuff. Do I have a storage over here. I don't think I do. I mean, I have the motor one here, but that's not really the point. Um, I was like, just throw one down if I need to. Uh, one thing I also do want to mention so on all the like space elevator part like the basic space elevator parts i have enough storage on them now to where once they're actually full that'll be enough items to take us through like last us through the the full end game so once these are full i'm for now i'm just going to route them off the side and into sinks um and just use them that way but eventually all of them are going to get taken down and I'll just move all the store. I'll move everything that's like stored to where it needs to be. And that'll free up all of this like stuff that I'm currently. So like all the coal I'm using here for this, all that, like all the stuff will get freed up again um, from all the spots across here. And uh, we can kind of it'll, it'll save us a lot of power as well. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's kind of the plan going forward. And let's go grab some stuff and get to building. Okay, I think I've got most of what I'm going to need for building. I'm going to grab a few things as, a, as we go if we, if we need anything extra. So what I want to do first is I want to put a door on here for sure. Um, so we're going to go to center wall door. Just like that. And then I think right. How many spaces do we have here? That would be three. I may actually need to adjust all the base walls. So I think I'm going to take all. Well. This. No, it'll be fine because I can't build up very high on this one anyway. That's that's going to be the only limiting factor on this build is height restriction due to the giant moth that's going to be flying through the building. So let's see. I mean, it's not like he breaks things, but I don't really want to have a giant moth flying through the building and build a little hole for him to fly through. That would be cool. You'd have to know exactly. You'd have to know his flight path exactly, though. So I'm going to start off with some of those walls I was using on the... Uh, garage that I thought were cool. 
But I liked it. Do I like it all the way to the bottom? Yeah, it's fine. Obviously, I'm going to take that power line out. So, how high does this one need to be? They can be like different. The roofs can be at like different levels. Okay, so this doesn't need to be like crazy high. Maybe go like one more. Like a four high window. Give it a little bit of extra space in there. Bring the walls up on the sides. Yeah, now we're actually looking like a factory. I'm going to change these to black. I like it better that way. And then on the ins oh, on the inside, my walls split like in here. So we'll go do like two there, two there. With two in between, perfect. What windows should I use here? These are the hex frames. I think they should all be the same, right? If I put a hex frame inside, it might look a little weird. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Probably ch we'll change it up from like factory to factory too. I think everything's not always going to be the same. Then we're going to do... I want to do windows on this side as well. There we go. Use this. Use this wall to fly my way up. That'll work. So, same on this side. Actually, this can be probably a shorter, a slightly shorter room. Will this, will this work? I figure this out in my brain. If I make this room like a little bit shorter. I guess not. I guess it should technically be, if it's the interior, it should technically be the same height. Fun, Shepard, use your old architectural skills. I used to design houses, not not factories. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of build the walls up, and it really starts to look way different as you as you fill everything in. It's starting to look like a real factory. I will say though, I think there is something to be. Uh, well, I was gonna say I will say though, there is something to be said about having your factories kind of just laid out like that, where it's just like all. It's almost like um, for those that are familiar with Factorio. Although I'm assuming if you play Satisfactory, you're probably very familiar with Factorio. There we go. And I'll build up this up like this. All right, starting to look way cooler. I feel like not having a door on this side is a little bit weird, but actually, don't I? Did I say I was gonna have two doors on this one? Oh yeah, I put the, the other doors like way at the back here. Kind of, I feel like there should be a door in the front. I feel like when you first walk in, you should be able to go directly in instead of like well. I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'll leave it the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put in some more, more glass. So. Friendly little glass wall right over here. Seen people call me the Bob Ross of Satisfactory. I'll just that's how I'll build from now on. What's the hap happy little accident right over here? 
This wall is looking a little lonely. I think he, we'll, we'll paint him in a little friend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want to make sure... There's like a decent amount. I don't want to go overboard and have it be like all glass. I don't feel like this factory is quite pretty enough for that. I mean, for my first interior, I'm not I'm not super unhappy with it. I feel like I would definitely prefer a little bit more space so I think going forward when I'm actually building these I'll build them like I'll build the room layouts first and then we'll add the factories in you know bearing in mind like how many buildings we're gonna have to have in each room but like here I left myself so much space although I didn't really put everything in the right spot like this should have been shifted forward um but like this room I gave myself so much space and then the other rooms I gave myself like no space so I think I'd like to uh, build with the, the building in mind. I don't know if that made any sense grammatically, but uh, you know, just so I can kind of lay these rooms out better um, for, for walking around in um, and for uh, being able to put in like the hallways, like I built those hallway blueprints, but I think those hallways are technically would be too big for this factory. I'd have to make this factory a bit bigger. Um, those hallways are for more for like mega factories. But anyway, let's put in some glass walls along here. Not too many though, because this is more. It's a pretty industrially type area. Oh, those are cool too. Might use those more on the outside though. And maybe not in this factory, but maybe in a future factory build. So let me figure out where the door is here. Because so I always want to have like one. Actually, yeah, let's just leave that then. That's all the glass they need for this one. I feel like I'm not going to really come down this hallway very often, so... can just be more of a more of a nothingness hallway even like these these weren't like the main entrances to the rooms like these are the main entrances one main entrance is here and the other one is over here um this is more like the emergency exit hallway i may even wall this one off but i'll do it like um like a gate hole so it's more like a so it is like a designated hallway section I think the one thing I do want to keep in mind going forward building as well is actually making sure you stick to like the four meter um, rules so like as I'm adding in those one meter pieces like just make sure if you're gonna add them in you make sure you add in four of them at some point in your build um, just makes like lining up all your windows and everything easier. Otherwise you start have to do start doing some weird stuff. I mean you can definitely play around with it, use like the one meter walls and stuff to your advantage. Obviously don't don't take don't take what I say about building into consideration just yet until maybe I learn a few more things. Okay, so this will be the hallways done. Gonna finish this side now. I'm also going to do. Hmm. Let's just do these in glass. Oops. I wish when I like. I'm using my like middle mouse button to select them. I wish it actually like copied the color that I was picking to. It's not hard to be like boop and boop. 
I know this one's technically a corner, but that's fine. I like it like factory across from each other. Um, okay, so that is that's the hallways done. Now let's put a little roof on her. Um, let's go. Should I do the glass frame foundation and have like skylit hallways? I think that'd be kind of cool, right? Let's try it out, see how it looks, and if I want to change it, we can do that. I end up doing it being like, mm, nah. I think it'll look cool though. Okay, so now we need to do... How was I going to do this? So these are roof pieces, apparently. But what if I did like... Can I go up from here? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I don't really know how this is gonna... I should probably keep this more flat. We'll go some basic walls back there. I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I'm going to add in some like, um, what do you want to call it? I'm going to add in like a, a window piece that like comes out. I don't know if that makes any sense. It might make more sense when I actually build it. And then I'm going to put some glass on back there as well. So this one I'm going to put right. Now let's figure this out. These three. Yeah. So from here, that's so where we're going to try and get a little creative. If we do. Where's my, where's my glass walls at? Actually, wait. Let me go. Basic one wall. And we'll do that. Oops. Put them all over the place now. Do two meters on the bottom. And I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. So I may change this part way through. should just be able to put the two on top, right? Nice. That was awesome math skills. Oh. There we go. Just freeze midair. Okay, so that was the little bit of a just outer piece I wanted to add in. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do the roof. Like, should I just add on a couple meters so the roof is just above? Because I don't want it to be right at, like, so here's what happens, like, if I was, but those blocks part of the window. Same thing with the one meter foundation, blocks part of the window. So I'm thinking either... I'm going to use the roof and just bring everyone up a smidge. And then 
I'll just, I don't know what roof material I could use out of these. Metal roof, I guess. So how do I do, there we go, like that. That's what happens when you're brand new to building. Oh yeah, I guess this this is where having the glass ceiling hallway also doesn't really make sense. Yeah, whatever. It's our first building. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, outer corner. That would be an outer corner. That one as well. Probably would have been a better idea if had I've known how the roofs work. Why is this not? This is what I mean. That's how does this work? <laughs> this goes over here. Just do, should I do glass roof? Right. Uh, so roof flat. in the middle maybe let's try that for now obviously like even if I'm not like super happy with it then I just know how I'm gonna kind of make some adjustments going forward I feel like a lot of this just needs to be a learning process right so I think off this side I want to do another like is that too much? Might be too much. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to grab these. And then from here, I want to add in foundations, inverted ramps. Get these on the side here. Grab those panel walls. Oops. Hello. Okay. Well, start from here. Why is it not? What's happening? What? Why is this a thing? What is happening? If I do this, there we go. Just gotta get creative with placing it sometimes. This is just kind of a window piece that's gonna stick out, similar to how I did over there on the other side, but slightly different window. Still don't know if any of this is going to look good, but we're trying. My main part was get the walls up so then we can even um, get our power connectors done. But I'm almost thinking what I want to do is uh, I'll send them so that we don't have power lines going in between the hallways. We'll connect them somewhere to the wall and then I'll pass them through the floor if I can do that. Can I do that?
must snap to a wall or similar. Okay. How do you pass them underground? Let's see. Aha! You put them on the bottom of foundations and the sides of foundations. Okay. So, I mean, really, you could, like, hide the power in the floor. Okay, so that might be what I do. I see a lot of people, too, where they'll build, like, um... They'll build, like, a frame of... What are they called? Build, like, a frame out of the, out of the painted beams. And then they connect all their power connectors to that instead of using the power poles. Um, I mean, I think it looks cool, but I mean, I just feel like, uh, well, it is, it is probably more, it's probably more resource friendly than using power poles, isn't it? Because these just use quick wire and rods, whereas if you build an actual pole, you need rods, you actually need the concrete too, so. But, well, but then I guess you also need all the steel beams to make all the beams, so. Maybe I'll just, I think I'm just fine with the way it is. I maybe they just do it because it is, it is a lot cleaner. And less power poles to place down, I guess. But main goal, how are we going to do this? I think I'm going to do, I don't love the idea of it just clipping into the ground. But I also hate the idea of it going through my hallways. So I think what I'll do is we'll grab the wall outlet. And I will send one down here. And this will hopefully allow me to send power from room to room, right? Just go like, boop. And then, if I was to like go under here. Okay, so I think that's what I, I think that's what I'll do for sending power from room to room. Is I'll end up sending it through the basement. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about recording that part because that's gonna be that would take up a bunch of time in this episode, and I've already been recording for almost an hour, so. Let us get back to finishing these cosmetics so we can have ourselves an actual, you know, real factory here. Grab, I won't worry about that either. Let's finish off this roof here, shall we? Let's go fill in a bunch of these walls. Um, I'm going to turn some of it to glass and then we will go from there. Do I montage it? I'll montage it.
so I'm sure as you guys saw partway through the montage there I ended up deciding to uh, scrap the angled roof idea and I'm just gonna go I just ended up going with the one meter on top so that I'm not blocking any of the windows so I realized I was doing the same thing in the hallway too so we are just going to rock it like this now um, this is actually supposed to be glass um, the glass foundations as well I think where is this is this a hallway this is a hallway it's a hallway right this is not a hallway this is part of the factory it should just be covered like that you don't fly into the building do you Perfect. I was build a little, build a little ladder up on top and climb on top. Climb on top of them. Go for a little ride. Okay, so now that we've got our roof stuff figured out, we're gonna finish filling this in. Again, this is not didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but. Who knows, maybe by the third or fourth or fifth time of doing cosmetics, I'll finally learn some, learn how to do these cool techniques. My thing is, I'm not a huge fan of the clipping either. Like I know, like a lot of people will just like clip stuff together and um, whatever it's called. It's called like the a certain axis clipping or whatever it is. The visual clipping you see when you put things on top of each other. Um, it's not really a big fan of it, so it's nothing against like people that, that do it, but it really bothers my eyes for some reason. That's why I didn't really like when I built, uh, sorry, when I built the angle wall on the, um, Hall of Legends, I was kind of like, I was like, eh. It's more the ceiling now that, that I don't really like. The wall is fine. But the ceilings end up looking weird. Okay, where does this come out? It comes out by two. It goes all the way down. If I remember correctly, it does. Okay. So that is all of the ceiling slash roof done because those are the hallways and all the actual build the all the buildings are now covered. I need to put some glass onto here though. Oh yeah, I like when you come in. That looks nice. Oh, <laughs> except for he's trapped right there like a zoo um yeah I like when you when you first walk in here I like that the glass into the open ceiling even though because of the way my graphic settings are yeah if I go too far back and it just kind of doesn't render in properly but that's fine I do wish glass was more clear like it's like what's that reflection coming from I mean, I guess maybe it's it's including the outside, but that's where I feel like glass in this game can be a little weird sometimes. Okay, yeah, I like this a lot better now. We've actually got a an uh, an enclosed factory, and I don't mind the little bit of the mountain coming in. I like that just kind of works, especially when you're like looking at a bunch of the mountain on some of these. Yeah, this looks pretty good. It's nice and bright during the day without having to have a bunch of lights in here. I mean, I don't have Lumen on, but I wish I did. Okay, so you got some glass going on in here. I think I need to finish these walls now, yeah. So what do we got in between here? This is just room to room. I don't think I really have the room to room glass. Those are all usually covered up.
but we can certainly add some on the front here. So we'll call it like three from there. And then... Three and three with two in the middle, but I think I did this actually wrong. Oops, that's not what I wanted to grab. I want to grab a wall. So I think it's like that. The way I the way I'd originally cut it. Okay, so we're gonna put the whatever it's called. Those glass. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Assembler. Let's put the glass on there. I like the amount of natural light you get in the rooms. Now what I really wanted to do is make all the floors black. Because I just find when you use concrete everywhere, everything just looks very flat. I feel like once you actually start customizing with the colors and the different materials, that's when you start getting more like... Um, I don't know what the word to describe it. It's just more, more depth, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. But sometimes the hard part can be getting the um, getting the floors filled in after you've put the machines on top, because the machines typically get in the way. Yeah, I definitely like that much better. All asphalt through the actual factory flooring area. Except I missed a couple. So I was saying it's sometimes it can be pretty hard to actually get them all once your machines are on top of it. Yeah, so this is where I'd like to have like a walkway if I needed to. I mean, you don't really necessarily need one. Because you can kind of move around. The main times, or the main things I like to use walkways for is if I need to be going like up and over the, uh, what do you call it? The conveyor belts. So I mean like to come down through here would certainly be nice to have one, but I would probably say I would just build it. I think you can actually make it so it goes right on line with the assembler there. Let's give that a try. I haven't really used the catwalks and stuff yet. Let's give it a try. I want to clip it to... I don't know why it's being so weird, but I'm going to just delete the one down here. What? What is happening? Oh, I saw it there for a second. There we go. I don't know why that was being so weird. Okay, so now I think that those are just naturally in line. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I am wrong. Okay. Is it the other one that's like naturally in line with them? The one I think I don't have? I think there's another one, isn't there? Let me check. Okay, so I ended up just using catwalk stairs. Um, because that actually got me up high enough to... Yeah, now it's it goes over top of the assemblers. But it didn't seem... Like the other one, the ramp was high enough to... Actually go up on top of the... The other one, like I wanted it to. 
Like I thought the I thought the ramp was just high enough that it would it would line you up going across these, but maybe that's the maybe I'm thinking of a different machine. But anyway, so yeah, now I have a little walkway that goes up here. If you ever need to check in on the on the assemblers, it takes you up and across here. You can kind of keep an eye on how things are flowing through here and just takes you down here to the emergency ac um, exit into the other room. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I actually have the ability to check on things in here. And then I also wanted to add in some lights. Do I have what I need for lighting? Ceiling lights, quick wire, wire, and steel. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. And, or exactly what I have. So for lighting in here, I think I'm going to do... Dang, maybe I should wait till the daytime so I can actually see the ceilings better. So I can line these up better. Because I'd like to kind of put them... I'd like to use the the bot like the markings on the on the ceiling to about to line them up and I can't see anything right now. But that's cool. So let's add in some more asphalt floors. To all our factories here. Oh, I thought that was I thought it like maybe visually glitched out for me for a second and I thought the um the floor hole was just was just open. I was like, uh, where'd the lift go? <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. I think. Yeah. Perfect. Right down the middle. God, I don't know why that was so difficult. And then... So it might be tough. Never mind. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this one's not super necessary, but I mean, if if you did want to check the constructors without having to climb over anything. It's also kind of cool because now that belt just runs underneath there. And now asphalt flooring. I think I accidentally hit a hallway piece there. Nope, we're good. Try and get underneath the constructors. This might be difficult. Let's just do all the outside first. And the reason I like going forward, I want to leave myself more space is so I can do this, but then also have like coated concrete, like a coated concrete path going around or like some places with factory markings. Cause it's hard to squeeze all that. Like the less space you give yourself, obviously it's harder to squeeze all that stuff in, especially the floor markings. Cause the floor markings are a little bit finicky. Sometimes getting them to line up with each other is not, not pleasant. There we go. We got our all asphalt flooring. I like it too because it helps like one, obviously, like I was saying, it helps it stand out from the walls. But it also helps the machine stand out a little bit more, I think. Because you get that like nice black and orange contrast that we that we've been using a lot of. So I think here I may actually have enough room to do what I was saying. Where it's like you asphalt the um, pl place where the, all the machines actually are. And then you can have a pathway going around. Maybe. Eh. We'll just do it for the next time. But for now, we'll just we'll go all just so it matches like the rest of the factory. I like when things match. much more satisfying. Okay, so we're just going to get all our asphalt in here. We're a nice little opening back here. Forgot about that. It's my little 
A little glass view. I don't know why I added this, but I thought it would look cool. I think my, my idea was when I added all these angles in was that because I wasn't able to go very high, um, the more of these I kind of add in, the less flat the factory will look overall. Yeah, see, so this is the one thing I don't like is that the walls from below are clipping through my foundations. Same thing here. Oh, if you look at it just right, it goes away though, so it's okay. See? Gone. Okay, so now we're going to go in here. Still these asphalt foundations. Really enjoying this new jetpack. Hello. Just jammed himself in the wall there. I'm also, I've been watching like a few other people's um, satisfactory videos now as well. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with uh, like what Darren plays and, and other total clips people like that um and they've really been you know really reiterating lately that the 600 pipes don't actually carry 600 which obviously was a big issue for us in our big old fuel build we were doing so it's good to know and hopefully yeah that is something that gets fixed in uh the full release of the game because that's a little it's definitely annoying when you're trying to plan things out but a lot of people always say it's like when you're working with fluids, make sure you just leave yourself that little bit extra, a little bit extra headroom. I think that's asphalt on all the floors now. Does this, does this one need a walkway? I feel like this one could use a walkway. And let's do it from... I don't want to block off this side because this is where all the glass... Well, I guess this side has glass too. But I have more space on this side, so I'm going to do it from here. So we'll do stairs eventually. Can anyone let me know in the comments why this is happening? Like, is there a better way I can put stairs down? Is it clip... I feel like it's maybe trying to clip to the walls underneath me. Maybe that's what's causing me a bunch of issues. Because, man, this is this is annoying. Like, why can't I just... Oh, oh. There. I was like, one of these days they'll give it to me. Okay, so I'm going to go... Straight down here into a turn. And then we'll do I'll do a T split here. T crossing, whatever you want to call it. I call it the T split like on my roads. That way, one can go this way. And I mean, I'm going to move that power pole anyway, so it's okay. One of these goes directly down the middle. Don't crash. Please don't crash. Get more and more nervous as we go. The amount of times my game crashes. It's crazy. Um, so let's go... Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a T. And then we'll just drop ourselves directly down from there. I mean, I, I know I don't have the most powerful computer, but it's it's getting scarier and scarier the deeper we're getting into the game. I'm just like, is this am I gonna survive? There we go. I'll walk me down there. So you go down through the middle. You can go down from both sides because I'm like, why would you really need to keep going forward here? There we go. I like that. I like having the uh, the walkways and stuff. But you know what I want to do? I kind of want to make them like, can I make them white? This makes it black. Does this make them white? Nice. Okay. Just again, like I was saying, it's like more colors. I feel like it breaks it up, makes everything look a little bit less flat. 
haven't really used white yet. I feel like white will just kind of, because we are, we have been using more of a, a black and orange combo. But I feel like the white kind of mixes in nicely with those colors. Maybe I'll change, maybe I'll color my splitters at some point too, or my mergers. Just to make them look a little, a little nicer. So we're going to add colors to all our things here. As I've been saying, if you guys have any tips for, for decorations and stuff like that, please feel free to share them in the comments down below. And you will more than likely see them get used in a future build. That's one thing, if, if they could add more custom swap, because the thing about these is when you change them, whatever you've colored like with them across the world will change, like everything changes. Um, so like if I was to change some of the, I don't know if I've used too many of these. I think I've used some of them on like the vehicles and stuff, but. Oh, and this might be the one pipeline, but. Um, so yeah, if you change some of these, uh, it changes everything that you colored across the world with that color. So I feel like realistically, it would just be great if you could have more custom swatches. But it's just like a little extra thing that would be, would be nice. Oh yeah, I like the, I like the white walkways. It'd be cool if you get like, and I mean, this would probably be just really resource intensive, but if you could get like, um, like different, like paint, like, uh, you know how, so for example, in the signs, you can set things to be like matte or like reflective. Um, it'd be cool if like you'd have like metallic paint on like certain things. So you could have like a metallic painting on like your railings and stuff. So it's still kind of like metal and if you could have like silver like, so say you took like this gray one and you could put like metallic painting to it and it could be like silver. I think that would look really cool, but obviously super resource intensive and my computer can barely run it as is. So maybe we'll just leave it the way it is. I feel like I want to break up some of the flatness of like these rooms. So I'm almost wondering if maybe I add in either some pillars. Or I was thinking maybe like, uh, like in the hallway where we have, not the hallway out there, but sort of like that, Is that too much. Let me add in some pillars and see how we see what we're thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it certainly helps it, it break up the room a lot instead of it just being like a very flat room. I just don't know. I feel like it doesn't really fit. Because I can't really do that in too many other sp spots in this room, right? Because I've got like the, the glass and stuff. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. That's, I think it, uh, we'll, we'll put it in, in, in any, any spot where I'm like, man, I got a lot of extra space here. Like sort of like this room here, right? So like, what if I did it in here? Cause I'm, I'm kind of between this and just doing like inverted ramps. But I do kind of like the way that this looks. Yeah, I feel like it just adds a little bit more depth depth to the room, you know? Let's do that. I'm thinking kind of like what else I can add in here in terms of like we can probably put in some signs. 
probably, probably, I'd probably more put those like out, like right outside, like as to do. Mm, yeah, I don't really like where that sits in the wall, so. Well, even the square signs, I can't really get to sit right in the middle. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Ah, uh, yeah, even the label signs, I can't get to sit in the middle. Ew. Don't like that. Okay, well, I guess maybe labels are going to go above the doors, because... Ugh. Oh, now they're upside down. Why are they upside down? Oh, that man, how it actually, I thought, yeah, okay. Uh, well, this one, they can kind of go like next to each other, right? Why are they upside down? <laughs> Are they right side up now? There we go. Okay. I don't know why they were like coming in upside down, but. So that's motors. That's stators and rotors. This is wire, I think. I'm just going to put signs above the doors. Kind of shows you what down there. That should be higher. So should these. I think. Oh, no, it shouldn't be. Okay. Is it this one that's too low? No, it's just above the door. Okay, yeah, I think it's because this is just a bigger door. That's why. Here we go. Um, I'm actually not going to put... Because these are all going to have signs on them already. And then we'll do like a... Should we do... I don't want to do like things where it's like these are over this way. So then this one would be an arrow. Icon other that way. And so over here would be Rotors, stators, motors. Rotors. Stators. Motors. Motors? Did I scroll past it too fast? Sure did. And this is copper ingots. Actually, technically, this is two rims. There we go. I'm going to have to stack these on top of each other. I guess I didn't need to delete the other one either. Yeah. Yeah. This is steel. There we go. Steel and copper room. 
motors, stators, rotors are over here, as well as copper wire. Copper wire. Um, this is not necessary. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a portrait sign up there. Um, I don't really know what I call this. Um, emergency exit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I built this extra hallway and I was, now I'm looking at it and I'm just like, I don't really know if I need this here. That's not the background. Oh, okay. No, I'll do a uh, staff only. There we go. Nice. That makes more sense now. So this room is pipes. Pipes. There you are. This is stators and rotors. And motors. And this was copper wire. There we go. Everything's cool and labeled. You know where everything is? I don't really don't need to go down this hallway, I guess. <laughs> I could close it up, but every time I walk by, the door would open, so. Yeah, it looks fine. I'll leave that in there. Kind of helps to fill up the room a little bit. I was thinking about adding some more signs in here, but I'm not really sure what I would bother. It's, I, I don't think I'm, like... Like I was thinking about doing like the numbers of like what we're outputting on the wall in here, but I don't think that's really going to matter all that much in this smaller factory. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll worry about that more in the bigger factories so that I can actually kind of keep track of more, the more of the numbers better. Um, yeah, I think, I think for now I'm just going to leave it, leave it as is. Oh, that's the that's the tra uh, tractor showing up for the motors. I wonder how many he actually takes at a time. It should tell me now. Like it should be leveled out now, right? Oh, right. Fifteen items per minute because we make fifteen motors per minute. Who who would have thought, right? Um, okay, now I can actually hit that one floor I wanted to, but I wasn't able to. It from below. That's my hallway, obviously. See, like, it would be easier, obviously, to, to paint all your stuff from down below here. See, like, I can get these now. Um, and I can get these ones as well. But, uh, the coated... Oh, well, yeah, and then I guess I could just do them. Maybe this would be faster. This would just do it all from below, and then I could do my coated concrete hallways. Oh, I also missed filling this in. There we go. I don't think that needed to be asphalt, though, because I think that's an outside piece. This is the basement that we're never in. Let's get out of here.
Oh, that's what that was. Okay, let me change that back. My bad. I forgot I had outside pieces that were... Oh my god, I can actually fit in behind there? That's so cool. It's totally useless and not... It's not like I can use it for anything, but... I think that's cool. Just some extra glass on this back side. I think it doesn't necessarily fit in with the build, but it just gives it a little, a little something extra. Okay, oh my gosh, I've been recording for a long time now. Hopefully I can cut this down to be a manageable thing to watch. Okay, let me go ahead and finish off these last missing one meter walls. Do I have them on the outside here? No, I do not. Woo! Not used to the jetpack yet. Pop one of those in there. Again, not a big deal because you won't see it. I think that's all the one meter found or the one meter walls down around the perimeter. Man, this place looks so different now that it's all walled in. I like it though. I mean it's still it's still pretty basic. And I still need to build the actual entrance here. Which I'll probably do. Let's see what's actually gonna fit properly. Should I use stairs? Yes. Just a nice, simple, basic entrance. Should I should I even worry about adding? Should I should I be that pillar guy again? Puts pillars everywhere. Could do beams too. Just to give it some some pizzazz. Or maybe a mix of like beams and pillars. Like what happens if I add the pillars on the inside, kinda like the way I was doing it before? Or should I maybe make sure they're on the outside? Well, first of all, I should make sure they start from the top. That would, that would be goal number one. And I don't know why I can't seem to get it to go down. I may have to build something to get them to go down. Although it may only have to go that high if I did other pillars as well. I don't know if I want to worry about doing pillars on this one, though. I mean, at least not yet. So I can figure out more and better way to use them. I do. I would. People would probably be like, "Hey, it's a little, it's a little flat looking." I'll be like, "You know what? I agree. It needs something. I don't know what." What if I do a frame? Can I put a roof on a frame ramp? And then like this. I'm just making this up now. With some beam connectors. on the bottom. A 
And then... Make a little, uh... Make a little, maybe, overhang. And then I'll put up the catwalk stairs. Like there. Some modern railings. And then I will make this into steel. Yes. Okay, I'm finding myself at a bit of a, a bit of a stumped position in terms of uh, creativity. So I think just to finish the episode off, I'm going to add in some walkways here in the smelting room. So we don't have anything in here yet. And then I'll maybe kind of revisit adding some more decorations here in the future. If this, if this game will let me place down my catwalk stairs. Again, I don't know why this is so weird, but... Then we'll get a turn. Actually, I built like a T here. I, I just made two. I did. Oh, that doesn't line up. Never mind. I need to be able to get up over top of uh, these things here. I wonder if I can put a put one up on top of it. No, I can't. Okay. Well, let's try it like this then. I don't know what is happening. That seems like it'll be pretty close. So now we'll try Catwalk Corner. I mean, good enough. Probably about as close as we're going to get it. I have to nudge it like one more spot, actually. It was right there. Let's see if I can actually get it back into position. Probably not. It was right there, right? So if I put it there. No, that's going to be too much. I think the nudge. The nudge will be just too much. that actually worked it did oh my god I think the sweet little baby Jesus probably a better way of doing that eh I would imagine so T at the back stairs whoa <laughs> too many stairs stairs uh, on that side I guess this is all we really need. Just a little part going through the middle if you need to check anything. And then, I mean, down here you really don't even need one, but I'm going to do one anyway. But I'm going to 
do one that leads you from here. I should have just built that one as I saw it. Come back. I don't know why I'm having to nudge them. Again, I, I hope there's a some maybe just something weird I'm doing. And you guys can be like, hey, stop doing that. So one more to there, and then we'll do the stairs off the end. There, so now if you want to check the foundries, you can check the foundries, and if you need to come back over here, check the coal line for some weird reason. And it takes you back there. I mean, you can you can get in behind if you need to. It's still open. And then I got this little, little viewing window back here. I'm not sure what I'm doing with, but. Okay, so now we're just going to make these white. I did incorrectly there. Accidentally hit the, uh, accidentally hit the merger there. Okay, those are all painted white. Did I get the other ones white? I think I did. Yeah. All right. I'm feeling a lot more, a lot happier with the way the cosmetics turned out this time. I feel like I'm still a little bit on the more basic side. I mean, I'd love to start playing around with like signs as lighting and stuff. And like I was saying, I do want to add in actual lights in here. Problem with using like signs as lighting is with, if you're not using lumen, they don't really look as good. I mean, they look okay, but. Wow, those are bright. <laughs> definitely won't get lost in the factory at night that's for sure it's actually kind of what like that's why I kind of like having that so I don't have to have lights going through the hallway I can have lights just in the actual factories themselves um yeah I really wish I really wish I could just actually see things so I could put the lights in and and line them up properly um you'll probably see that happen in between this episode and the next episode where I actually put some lights in here but uh the fun part about next episode it's our very first computer factory, which I'm actually super stoked to be taking on. It's not too bad. We are using the two alternate recipes, um, Katerium circuit boards and Katerium computers. So that really all you need to make, what was it? 10 computers per minute. You only need, sorry, I'm not looking at my microphone here. Um, we only need 348 Katerium and 330 oil per minute, which makes things just super duper easy. Um, that should be a, a pretty easy split that or split again into two parts. Like I was uh, um, saying last time, hopefully you guys are on board for multi-part episodes. Oh, it's actually cool. You can see the signs in the ceiling. Um, yeah, because we last time we built the motor factory, now we made it look all, I mean, quote unquote, pretty, I guess. Um, I mean, prettier. Definitely. I'm definitely... It's a, like I said, a learning process. Um, but I think that's probably a good spot to end this episode off for now. We can cross off Motor Factory Cosmetics from the to-do list. And we'll maybe add some more going forward. I'll try and make sure I, I record things. And hopefully we don't have another mishap of this one where I thought I was recording. And it turns out I was not. Oh, there's the autosave to just end, end us off. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys. Um, supporting the channel, supporting the series. Um, thank you guys again for, for being here. Enjoy another episode. I will see you in the next one. If you're still here and you like what you see, you don't hit subscribe yet, please do. I think it's like, I think like 65% of people aren't subscribed yet. So um, feel free to do so. It really helps out the channel. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next one. All right, you made it to the end. You get the bonus. So, as you can see, I did make a few changes to the factory. 
Um, just in terms of, just on the outside, obviously, um, we tried swapping out the bottom two walls for the metal. And then I added just some more random stuff on the outside just to kind of fill up some space. I added these signs kind of like in an alternating up and down pattern along here. I just thought that looked kind of cool. And then if we go down along the front, I've added these, these pillars to kind of break up just the flatness that was here. And then I twisted um, a, co a smaller concrete pillar and put signs all along it there. I thought that looked pretty cool. Just kind of helped break up the flat, super flat wall that was there before. Um, and then on the roof, I just kind of added these, I don't really know what you, what you call them, stripes. So that was pretty much it. Um, and then, yeah, I think, I think that was pretty much it. Um, I'll show you guys some walls I was doing really quick, just as a, a extra, extra bonus. So yeah, these are just a couple wall designs I was playing with real quick. Um, if you find anything that inspires you a little bit, you want to use it your factory, feel, please feel free. Uh, I'm going to try and use some of these going forward. I really like the way this one kind of turned out. This one's pretty basic. I've seen this one done many times before. This one was really cool. This one I actually just did with uh, using billboards as lights behind the wall with a little bit of a, a gap in between. That looks really cool. I'm definitely going to be using that. Um, this was a sort of basic, just open, cagey, so wanted to be more like an industrial open type wall. This one I really liked as well. This one's probably going to get used going forward. Same with this one. Um, those are just using coated concrete foundations and clipping metal walls onto them. Um, these was they, or these were all just kind of a variation of putting uh, different things in between the concrete pillars and adding in different different metal beams and steel beams and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, there's just a little, little bonus wall section. If you see anything cool you want to use, go feel free to go for it. And, uh, thank you guys for the support on the episode and I'll see you in the next one.